as did Ken Griffey's run on the shelf that lasted nearly that long. Clearly Griffey with the bigger load to shoulder. Not only has his homecoming been an injury riddled disappointment, but he's still damaged goods. The Reds team physician telling ESPN Radio there is a significant chance of his shoulder popping out again simply by swinging a bat. If it does, Griffey's done for the season. Jeter has the ring, so he gets top billing on the highlights back after 36 games. I'm not a very patient person. You know, when you're gone this long, you realize how much you love playing the game. And, uh, you know, you give anything to get back on the field and get an opportunity to play again. So it was very difficult, and, you know, you can't take, take things for granted, especially your health. Number two in uniform, number two in the lineup card, but number one in the fans' hearts. Number two, Derek Jeter. First at bat against John Lackey, and this is the Angels' first game at Yankee Stadium since rallying to win game two in the playoffs. Derek Jeter fouling out to Scott Spezio. Top two, man on for Spezio. Hitless in his last 24 at bats. Let's make it 25, grounds to second, and Jeter the relay for the double play. Not in time. DJ thought he had him. Spezio. In the fourth, facing Mike Mussini, who was looking to go 8-0 in his first eight starts. So it's time to start another streak. Hadn't given up a homer since his first start of the season. Gave up two in this ball game. Angels are up 3-0. Man on for Jeter. Fourth at bat, bottom eight, and he singles to right. Throw to the plate. Going to get away from Benji Molina. Raul Mondesi. He scores. Jeter one for four. Still the Yankees trail 6-3. Top nine. Spezio against Juan Acevedo and nothing like a good old piece of hickory. Grand slam. Second homer of the game. Fifth of the year. The Angels win 10-3. Dave Campbell. Four bottom two. Manny, watch this. Wicked hot off John Thompson. That would have cleared the mass pike. Number five for Ramirez. It's 1-0 Red Sox. Top six. Juan gone. It's gone off John Burkett, a three-run shot is 13th. Gonzalez, three for four, has Burkett's tank for four runs on six hits in seven. Four, four in the eighth. No my Garcia Para to left. Off the wall, they're going to wave Johnny Damon. A three-run Boston eighth gives the Red Sox a 5-4 lead. Later in the eighth, Bill Miller. A-Rod. Unbelievable. Look again, the flip over his head to get the force and the Rangers get out of the inning. Top nine now, Brandon Lyon facing Herbert Perry. One run game, Kevin Millar! Really, everybody's safe, runners on the corners now. They say it's an infield single for Perry. The next batter, Lyon, gets Michael Young. His fifth save and five chances. Red Sox win 5-4. They win for the eighth time when trailing after six innings. Seattle's Joel Pinero has never lost three straight starts in his career. That could happen if Cleveland beats him Tuesday. The Mariner in trouble early after being staked to a two-run lead. Casey Blake the bunt, Jeff Cirillo the error, and Josh Bard scores, so it's 2-1. Next batter is Brandon Phillips. His first ever A-B against Pinero is a single. Next batter, Matt Lawton, who was 4-4 four four against Pinero coming in. He's, he's now 5-5, five five, and this game is now... 2-2 two two with Blake scoring. Next batter, Omar Vizquel, who was 1-7 for seven against Panero. Hey, when you're hot, you're hot. Tribe was hot. Another RBI single. Hey, time for a visit to the mound. Brian Price usually gets results immediately when he returns to the dugout. Let's see if he does this time. Well, did the, the talk take? Next batter, Ellis Burks, and that works. Double play. Pinero shaky, but out of the inning after three runs on five hits. Top four. Seattle will go for four. Former Hawaii Winter League, Randy Wynn, shopping at the gap. Two score. Wynn will get a triple. He's batting 419 in the last eight games. He's batted in the seventh spot. Mariners lay an 8 3 spot. He's 4 0 against the Cards this season. Top one, Austin Kearns, two for nine career against Jason Simon Tachi. And this game's all about putting three out of 10 in play. Even better when it's un playable. Kearns 12 ties him with teammate Adam Dunn. Dunn undones that tie. Martin. Jack. His 13th two-run shot. Book him, Dano. It's 5-0. Kearns and Barry Larkin. Man, that's a shot. Top two, all that good news is going to be tempered. Larkin re-injured his left calf while running the sacks. Injury to the same calf. Put him on the DL for three weeks. Six games ago. He's day-to-day. -day. Now 7-2 in the fifth. Jason LaRue with the knock against Mike Crudale. Never been a knock on Jim Edmonds' ability to field his position. 
You know, that could be a top 10 play. Top seven, junior, pinch hitting. Manager Boone said Griffin start either Wednesday night or Thursday, but not in both games, and then likely would start every other day for a while. On this day, the Reds win it 7 2. I think in the fifth, Fonzi, correct Mundo. Off Tomo Oka, his fourth, it's 4 3 Montreal now, as Oka's tagged for four runs on eight hits and four to third. Bottom five now. They are loaded for Barry Bonds. That's Dan Smith. Bonds pops it up in front of home. Now watch this. Jim Joyce immediately signals infield fly. Expos converge. Nobody catches it. Tatis steps on home, but Fernando, there is no force. Nafi Perez sneaking in there. Hey, tag him. Tag him. Where are you, Bobby? Safe. Frank Robinson can't believe it. Look again. He has got to tag him. The infield fly automatically has Bonds out, but it's not a force. You got to tag him. And a heads up play by Perez. Da -da 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 -da. Just kind of sneak in and, excuse me, I'll score it. Two. Unbelievable heads up play of the year in baseball. Vlad in the seventh. He was three for four, seventh of the year. Expos win 6 4. Giants have lost four in a row for the first time this season. Braves began Tuesday a half game up on San Fran for the NL's best record, Atlanta in L.A. Top three, first and second for Gary Sheffield. Look at Raphael for a call, stealing third. Kazushi, wild pitch. It's 1-0 Atlanta. Bottom third for a call with the glove. Paul LaDuke at a short. Nice job. Top eight, 1-1. One, one. Here's Gary Sheffield facing Paul Quantrill. Chef to left center. Solo shot number nine for the former Dodger, and the Braves have a 2-1 lead. Next batter, it's Chipper Jones. Deep to left, Brian Jordan is at the wall. Gone for a home run. Jordan's bringing it back. For the bottom of the eighth, Russ Ortiz reading something is written in his hat. Did it work? Sean Green. To short for call. Nice play again. Ortiz went eight, allowed just one run on four hits. Braves win 3 1. John Smoltz save number 16. Philadelphia's Kevin Millwood looking to become the NL's first six game winner, working as a snake charmer Tuesday. First game at the vet since his no hitter against the Giants in late April was a Giant. Gets two in the first. Gonna get the side in the second. What about the third? Brandon Webb looking, and then Alex Cintron. Fourth inning, still no score, and Gonzo, sit down. Steve Finley, you're a voyeur. Millwood's gonna finish with 11 Ks here in the fifth. Gets Bautista swinging for the second time. Bottom six, Phillies are down a run, though. Pat Burrell against the aforementioned Mr. Webb, and I know you know that ball is Gonzo. Tied at one, Burrell seventh of the year. Top nine, we're still at one. She's gonna bring in Jose Mesa. We face Quentin McCracken, eight for 44 this season. Pinch hit single up the middle. Mesa, five runs, four hits, and two thirds. And the T-backs go on to win, 6-1. A's in Detroit, Ted Lilly winless against the Tigers' career. Mike Marath winless all season, 0-7. Bottom three, Andres Torres, Miguel Tejada. The bare-handed MVP. Now in the seventh with Marath pitching, it's time to play, you make the call. Should Alan Trammell go to the bullpen where Steve Sparks is ready? Well, the answer here is B. No, he does not go to the bullpen. Leaves Maroth in, and Maroth walks Frank Menachino. So now there's two on. And again, you make the call. Should Alan Trammell go to his bullpen? Again, the answer is B. No, he leaves him in to walk Mark Ellis. That loads the bases. Maroth allowed three runs on five hits and six and a third. Walk three. And again, should Alan Trammell go to the bullpen? This time the answer is A. Yes, get out there. Get Sparks in here. Here he comes facing Eric Burns with the bases full. And nice job by Sparks. Gets Burns to fly out to Carlos Pena in foul territory. That's two outs. Tejada up now with the bases loaded. And well, it almost works. Two runs come in, a double for Tejada. It's 3-1 Oakland. Bottom eight, Tigers still down two. They're on the corners. Torres facing Chad Bradford. That's a 4-6-3. A's win 3-1. Poor Mike Maroth. First Tiger pitcher to start a season 0-8 since Ted Gray in 1953. Royals are 3-0 against the Twins this, this season. All three W's have been by one run. They're three and a half back of the Royals in the Central. And Torrey Hunter's not impressed. We're going to win, trust me. They have to keep this up until July before I believe it. Bottom nine, KC up 2-1.
Mike McDougal facing pinch hitting Bobby Kilty. He's battling sore ribs, but he battles there. And Chris Gomez scores McDougal's third blow and save in 14 chances. Bottom 10, Albi Lopez, AJ Pruszynski. Looks like a double play ball, but Desi Relaford's throw is off. Ken Harvey can't glove it. Pruszynski down to third. And that's going to bring up Todd Sears and the sound. Sears' first home run came off Pedro Friday, and then this walk-off, 4-2, Twins, not a bad week for Roll Jay Gibbons in the first, got his first five outs on strikeouts. Sox have struggled, lost seven of their last nine, therefore they're on the defensive. Low Isaac goes to third on the David Segui knock. Tony Graffanino goes to first to get Segui, 1-5-3, double play. Low Isaac didn't allow a runner past second base, takes care of Gibbons again here in the sixth. Low Isaac, seven pitch, seven whiff. Nothing earned, dropped his ERA to 205. Eighth inning, Carlos Lee making the blooper reel. Gibbons gonna go to second to force out Frank Thomas, and that's gonna bring out Jerry Manuel. Told you the Sox were on the defensive. Manuel gonna leave early, but the Sox hold on to win it. One nothing. Games on in the ninth with two outs, game tied at three. Astros have outscored their opponents 54-17 in the final two innings this season. Top nine, Jeff Bagwell. Williams got the first two outs in the inning and then gets into trouble. Walks Bagwell. Then Jeff Kent comes up. sees singles to right. Then it's Lance Berkman. And they're going to put him on intentionally. Only need one more out. So the base is now loaded for Richard Hidalgo. Deep to right. Rob Makoviak is at the wall. Three-run double as Williams implodes for three runs on two hits and two walks in the one inning. Take another look. It just hits Makoviak's glove. The Astros win 6-3. Pittsburgh has lost 10 straight to Houston and 10 of 11 overall. Cubs at Milwaukee. Sean Estes looking for his first road win of the season. He beat the Brewers six days ago. That was at Wrigley. Bottom one. Scott but Sednick looking at a nasty breaking ball and Jeff Jenkins, ditto. Top two, still no score. Ruben Cavedo, winless since last July 24th. He stopped Choi, homerless since May 5th, and that came against the Brewers, and that's going out his seventh, and the Cubs up 2-0. Bottom four, Estes facing Richie Sexton, a 357 career hitter against Estes, and that's a major league leading 14th home run for Sexton. It's a solo job, cuts the Cubs lead to 2-1. Bottom seven, Keith Ginter swinging. Estes gets the win, so do the Cubs. That's the way it works, 7-2. All right, Mets fans, prepare yourselves. Mets at Coors Tuesday. Top one, Sean Chacon loads the bases with three walks in a row. And then Ty Wigginton had a big triple Monday night, another big triple Tuesday night. This is fifth triple of the year. He empties the bases. It's 3-0 Mets. Things are good so far. Top two, it's Mike Piazza. Piazza goes yeah. Two-run homer to right off Chacon is fifth at six-nothing New York. Piazza again in the fifth inning. This one's a solo shot to left center. Two home runs for Piazza in the game at seven-nothing Mets. So Tom Glavin, who pitched nicely, comes out in the seventh with a seven-to-one lead. This thing's in the books, right? Well, hold on. Here comes Pat Strange making his season debut, and here come the Rockies. Preston Wilson, two-run home run to right. 7-4 Mets. It's Wilson's 11th. It was 8-7 Mets. The lead down to one in the eighth. Wilson. Again, this guy. RBI single to right. It's 8-8. Eight to eight. The Mets have blown a 7-0 lead. Try a bullpen by committee. That might work. <laughs> Larry Walker, next guy. Jaime Sir a wild pitch. Piazza's wild throw back to home. Todd Helton scores. And the Rockies trailing 7-0. Beat the Mets. 9-8. Boy. Fish in San Diego, top six. Marlins down 5-3. Runner on first, Mike Lowell. Grounded to third. Diving stop by Sean Burrows from his knees to first. Luis Castillo trying for third. Ryan Klesko, here's your rare 5-3-5 DP. This one went to extra innings. One out, bottom 10, two on for Ramon Vasquez. San Diego's 207 batting average with runners in scoring position this season. Second worst in the majors. Throw out the stats. Keith Lockhart, the winning run. Padres get it 6-5-10. Thank you.